I don't really like making negative videos, but today I'm very frustrated and I need a bit of a rant. If you watched my previous videos, you know that I ordered a pair of earrings from Shop Dixie, which is a UK jewelry brand. And one of the earrings turned out to be damaged. It's called the Little Empire Studs and it's like three silver balls in a cluster. But one of them was almost like completely faded or worn out on top. I'll show you a picture here. So I've only ordered one time before and that was a moon boho necklace. And I was very happy with it. I had no complaints about it. So the earrings were my second order and it was damaged and since it was international order they don't send you a replacement. You either get a refund or store credit, which I guess is fine. I had my eye on a few of their other necklaces and I decided to buy another necklace because I really wanted those earrings and if I bought another piece they could send me a replacement for the earring because then I had already paid for the shipping. So that's what I did. I got my order yesterday and the earrings are perfect, but the necklace I ordered is also damaged. And it's just so annoying because like that was my third time ordering and two out of the three times I've ordered it's been like a fault item. So first I just want to show you the earrings. So the one on the far right is the one that was kind of damaged as you can see. And I just wanted to show you the other ones as well because they look pretty different in my opinion. At least like the black parts you can see some has more of it than the others. So I'm glad she sent me two new ones and not just one so that I can wear two that kind of look the same. And the necklace I got was called the Elder Heart Choker. It has a gunmetal chain and a black pearl. So first of all, um, I think the pearl has a crack in it. I'm not really sure about this. At first I thought maybe it was like natural that way because I was thinking it was a, a like a mineral stone but it's supposed to be a real black pearl so it probably shouldn't have cracks like that. I'm not sure if it translates to the camera but I'll insert a picture so you can see it better. But anyways, that's a really small detail and I could happily live with that if that was the only flaw, but it's not. The main issue is the chain itself. If I take the chain between my fingers and move to the outer edge, like trying to hold it flat, you can see the, the one on this side is twisting. I'm not sure how well it translates to... yeah, there you can see it. This one is like straight and then this one is going like tilting forward almost. I'll insert some more photos so you can probably see what I mean. And I've looked at it and it seems like it hasn't been glued properly into this into this end piece. Here's the the normal chain I was gonna say. You can see like it has a straight gap while the other one has a bigger gap on one side so like it's crooked in there so i think that's what's making it turn you'd think that it would lay flat when you wore it around your neck but it actually twists around a lot and it also makes the pearl twist around so sometimes like the back side is showing and yeah it's just super annoying i think so when i wear this i have to like constantly twist it back to the right side and yeah that's just not what i want from my necklace maybe i'll even put it on to show you so as you can see this one lays flat and then this one just keeps twisting around And making the pearl, see it's kind of starting to flip like this and it's just so frustrating and I've tried to like do the clasp in the back like really straight to make it maybe lie flat but since I think it's glued wrong it just won't stay flat 
so it's just super annoying I think and yeah I just can't see that's what it usually ends up looking like when I wear it you can see this one is starting to like go upwards and just poking out instead of laying flat too so I'm not sure if it's just my necklace or if the other necklaces are like this but it does look like mine is glued wrong which is why it keeps twisting around like that and I don't know if I'm like too fussy about those things but I just can't if I if I'm to wear a choker it needs to like lay good on your necklace and not be annoying because I just can't deal with like annoying small things like that so I will have to return this because I just can't wear it it will drive me insane but I just also wanted to say that I'm not too happy with their customer service it's not really bad but I didn't really get the answers that I wanted like I sent them an email about this necklace and I think it was a pretty nice like I tried to keep it very nice and polite um, even when I had two orders that had faulty items in them so I wrote them an email um, explaining and I showed all the pictures and like even asked if it was a crack in the pearl or maybe it was natural because I don't really know but they didn't answer any of that um, they just wrote me back saying if you want a return item here's what you do and then it's just a general return form so like no information if it maybe was a faulty item that it was glued wrong or if there was a crack in the pearl no information at all about that so yeah I will be returning this item and it kind of sucks because shipping is quite expensive and I mean the necklace itself isn't that expensive so I wasn't even sure if it was worth the money sending it back because um, you don't get the shipping refunded anyways. I paid about 200 kroner for a necklace and then 80 for sh shipping the first time so 280 and then I will probably spend around I don't know 40 to 80 kroner to ship it back again so like subtracting all that from the original cost of the necklace I won't be getting back much so I thought about just keeping the necklace instead of returning it but I know that if I keep wearing it it's just gonna drive me insane because it's so fucking annoying so I'm just gonna return it anyways but yeah I don't think I will buy from Shop Dixie again which is really sad because all their items are really beautiful and I just like this style in general and I mean the first time I ordered the necklace looked good and it seemed like great quality so I don't know maybe I'm just very unlucky um, but it does seem like a very big hit and miss it's also sad because I really like their style and I mean the material itself seems to be of really good quality but it's just the way that it's put together it's just not done right so that lowers the quality of the all-around item if you know what I mean I'm gonna try to show you here as well like on this um, where it's linked together this part next to the pearl is quite beat up probably from like tongs or prongs or what you call it uh, while the other is looks nice and good and undamaged but this side is like scratched up just minor details like that um, which is kind of annoying I'm not sure if this business is like going really well um, I keep getting emails all the time like I think every week there's like some kind of discount sale like 10% off, 15% off sometimes 20% off but that's usually as high as the percentage go and even with both my orders I got this like coupon code for 15% off and yeah I don't know it just seems like they're really desperate to get sales um, because 10-15% isn't really that much but it tries to like lure customers in to buy stuff anyways because it's on sale yeah it might not be like that but it just kind of looks that way <laughs> And the first time I ordered the necklace I bought came in this really nice velvet pouch but this time when I opened the box it literally looked like this like the chain was like sliding around in there which isn't all that great and 
I noticed this. It's like a paper bag and I guess it was inside of this, but it came out and was just like sliding around in the box, which I don't know why they chose that when they had those nice velvet pouches before. So that was a slight disappointment as well. But I'm not saying do not shop from Shop Dixie. Um, I just want to make you aware that you might get faulty items because I did that two out of three times. And especially ordering from a different country, just beware because shipping costs are usually very high. So it's just too big of a risk having to pay to ship stuff back. So I won't take any chances and buy from them again. Let me know down in the comments if you have ordered anything from Shop Dixie and how your experience was or if you've been thinking about buying from them. I would love to hear other experiences as well. And I'll see you in my next video. Recess. But that's usually as high as the percentage. But that's usually as high as the percentage. Oh. But that's usually how.